evening's yours. Um, good evening. Um, the, uh, our budget is the most important um, legislative action a board can take uh, because it really um, shows the priority of this body. Um, as of most years, um, we are facing increased costs of personnel, um, utilities, contractual increases, and operational increases. At the same time, um, we are um, looking to compensate for loss of our airplane tax, our business license, and inventory tax in this budget. However, it is my intention to, uh, to bring a budget that is uh, millage neutral um, handling um, those issues. Um, also, too, with this budget, we believe we have money in here, approximately $4 million, um, for um, this legislative body to um, work on priorities for additional, additional projects or um, to offset the, um, the voter cost um, for the bonding, for the school bonds, and also to the road bonds. We try to make this um, conservative and also give the assembly plenty of room to do, uh, to do their work. Um, this evening, um, I have been told this process that we're doing tonight usually takes about three days. We're going to tr attempt to do that in six hours. Um, so we're going to be concise and on point um, with, with our presentation. What tonight we want to do is really kind of lay the foundation uh, going forward with our budget because on May 7th, 9th, and 10th, um, you'll have full opportunity uh, for full, dis um, full discussion um, and debate and decision um, on this 2013 13 budget. Um, our schedule tonight is from 4 to 7, we're going to have department presentations. At 5.20, we'll be breaking for dinner. At 7 p.m., we'll be talking about our capital requests and projects. Um, at 8 p.m., um, our personnel overview and issues that we're dealing with. And then at 8.30, um, discussion on bond debt and, um, and surplus balance um, that is required. Um, I do need a consideration for you, especially um, during the first part so we can get through um, this in approximately um, two and a half hours. Any questions you have for, um, for me or staff during this first part of presentations, could you write them down on the cards? We'll collect those and make sure that we have written answers back for you. Um, my concern is to get us out of here at a decent hour um, we're going to have to um, be a little, uh, a little bit direct, so I appreciate your consideration on that. Okay. We do have um, um, a brief presentation, then we'll go into um, our department's presentations. Um, for our budget, we have, um, using this block as our, as our full budget, we have dealt um, thus far with the um, presentation from the school education budget, and then approximately 25 percent of those of those levied millage dollars come from public service, which is our operations. That's what we want to set aside and deal with this evening. Um, I look at that as three components: we have our operations, debt, and capital, and we will be dealing with operations um, at this point in time this evening. Our assembly goals. Um, Port Mac, um, rail extension project, Kabata, regulatory reform, um, streamline organizational activities, EMS, major land cell, borough space, um, road bonds, and Hatcher Pass. I think we have done extremely well on some of these areas. We've fallen behind um, on some of these others, and we'll be able to discuss this on, uh, throughout the evening. Assembly highlights, things that you have done um, to make um, a big difference here is the Title 43 um, that um, we're wrapping up soon, the ethics code revision, the tower ordinance repealed, the mandatory land um, use permit revision, um, airplane tax re being repealed, Hatcher Pass land exchange, bonding, our LIDAR project, Port Mac Master Plan Update and Site Selection for Frontera School. Five years ago, um, through the High Performance Organization, um, this borough spent quite a bit of money on putting together um, a plan for, for good operations. And staff has come up um, over the years with our mission, vision, and values, our mission providing outstanding um, borough services to the Matanuska Susitna community our vision, community of choice, to live and work where every citizen matters, 
and our values being accountability, integrity, dedication, teamwork, responsiveness, and customer focus. Um, like I said, the borough has invested quite a bit of money in staff, and um, I would like to um, next year start engaging the assembly um, on this process and then also be seeking buy-in um, so we can be in uniform and thought and action. Here are some of the highlights um, for, for its success this year. Tank farm um, terminal at Port Mackenzie, Alaska. Uh, the purpose of the terminal will be able to import fuel from any sources, whether here in Alaska, Seattle, Pacific Northwest, or even as far away as Korea and Singapore. Justin Sharon um, from Central Energy Alaska. This is a Port Mac rail project. Um, just so everybody knows, we received $23.5 million in a general fund and $30 million in the bonds to continue the project. This is looking at um, the port. We added um, eight acres to make it 15 acres. That was completed um, this year. Um, it is really the capstone of our economic development efforts. Um, this summer, we moved quite a bit of dirt, uh, 3 million cubic yards of soil. Um, and also, too, in preparation, we will have the longest um, rail loop in the state of Alaska, 100 car. This will provide for efficient um, bulk um, utility transfer. And here's, here's the loop. Um, we are currently working um, with um, Bristol on the first five miles outside the, outside the port district. And these are our companies that we have um, that use the Port Mac Rail and will use the Port Mac Rail. Another big project. And the end product is impeccable. Uh, you'd never get it built for that again, ever. Um, $240 million project um, provides 371 <coughs> jobs in a 1,500 bed uh, facility. They are currently um, operating this in a slow phase up, and by August 2013, it will be fully operational. This is an exciting project, able to be completed in um, 90 days from concept to completion. Another project that's going to be completed soon is our Sutton Library. Um, we've had many private donations from BP, Conoco, Rasmussen, Matsu Health, and from Usabelli um, on this project. Um, we'll be inviting you off there to cut a ribbon soon. Um, I'm Ao and Ivy, and I just want to say thank you to the Matsu Borough for Sutton Public Library. Without their fax machine, my manuscript never would have made it to my agent all the way down in Homer, and I never would have gotten my novel published by Little Brown and Company. So without libraries, who knows where we'd be in the world. Thank you very much. We're about a quarter of a mile below the parking lot, just south of the parking lot for the new road extension. Um, starts at... Uh, Edgerton Parks Road goes about uh, just under a mile up the hillside here and uh, that's where the new trailhead will be for six kilometers of Nordic ski trails. Uh, ski trails in the wintertime, uh, multi-use multi uh, recreational trails in the summertime. And we also received, um, received a ladder truck um, knew this would be an over $800,000 vehicle. Um, we were able to do this because we have five on-call firefighters who also work on the North Slope put this together. These are the six new paramedics that you approved last year. Um, they're ready to go at this point in time, and they can provide 24-6 coverage. This is our LEED award. We are the first um, state um, certified industrial gold level. Um, this is where our new addition is going to be. Um, bids will be open April 26 for action from the board mid-May. Our LIDAR project is, um, is, is moving forward. And this is the Helen Minow's group um, for our sewer um, operations. So those are some of the highlights that we had um, this, this current budget year. 
This is kind of a, a quick summary. What we didn't talk about is, is Kabata. Our staff is working very well with Kabata is on our side to make sure that um, um, proper infrastructure um, is met. Um, road and school bonds, um, incredible, um, especially um, with the matching of the state for the full 32.5 million for roads. Um, we have done some work in, in purchasing um, to make that more competitive. Here's some things that we are currently doing um, this year. The Denikey Bridge, the LIDAR project, um, the assembly funded the, the data collection for the LIDAR project. However, ongoing, um, we do not have the funds to, uh, to put the, the data into action, and we will be coming to you shortly. Museum Road um, is the first of a um, two-road project that we received from state legislator funds last year. Um, trails at the crevice moraine. Um, this will allow for expansion of our solid waste facility. Um, we have the rail extension project, um, port planning, and credit card acceptance. Our challenges, um, I am um, becoming aware of the massive costs for utility relocation. Um, we need to find a better way of doing this because the developer is paying to put in utilities and then we're turning around and paying twice as much to move them. Um, so that's a project. Um, we have stalled timber sales and property sales. I wish I had some great news for you today. I do not. However, next Monday, Eric Phillips will be uh, beginning as our community development um, director, and he has experience in both those areas, and I'm confident we'll be able to make great progress this coming year. Operational analysis, we want to improve in speed and efficiency. Um, balance between our demands and costs, um, which is always an issue, especially at budget time. Um, ongoing personnel costs, we're averaging just under, for the past five years, just under 7% annual increase in that area. Um, our value loss due to property tax exemptions, over $9 million um, that we deal with exempted property with the age and, and veteran um, exemptions and then a uh, bonding approval and impact on, uh, on a tax bill, and also to everybody's favorite ferry and funding. And Ron, I'm sure, came back just so he can help us deal with that, and we appreciate that, Ron. <laughs> Trends and population forecasts, we got the latest numbers at um, 91,697. Um, we are not on a, on a super fast growth, but we still, um, from 2010 to 2000, beginning of 2012, we're still in a healthy growth pattern. Um, that is um, projected to be um, 111,000 by 2020. Um, my guess would be we're going to exceed that. Area-wide values, um, as you can see, we're now at $7.9 trillion in uh, property certified assessed value. Um, funding for education, the last two years, 48.4. There is a request from the school board to, for a 3% increase at 49.9. As presented, that 3% increase is, um, is being um, recommended for approval in this budget, what we talked about. Allocation of funding, um, our government um, services at 25%. School funding is at 75% um, of the the dollars. General grants, nothing has changed, I think, from the past years. However, um, with the Matsu College paramedics, I'll be working to try to wind down um, uh, that grant. Uh, the Human Services grant match got an awful lot of attention last year. I think compliments of the mayor. Um, I, don't, I don't know um, if we'll have as many visitors this year, but our recommendation is to use those monies to, um, to uh, match the the money we receive from the state. Um, this year's area-wide, um, we can go to 11.186 mills. Our request is 10.38, and the one area-wide mill equals $7.5 million. So if you want to go up, that would, the, um, that would be revenue we would earn. If you want to go down, we'd have to cut approximately um, seven and a half million. 
our mill levies, um, area-wide, non-area-wide, we're at 10.381. Um, average tax bill, um, we're just shy of um, $23,000 on area-wide and non-area-wide. And when you figure in the FSA and RSA averages, we're just under um, 30, 3,500. 